Hey there everyone. The purpose of this tutorial is to help you create a lower third graphic for your newscast. And when we say lower third, um, we're talking about the lower third of a screen. Um, right here you see this lower third um, for ABC This Week has the issue um, in the top box. Um, it, um, it, it has a sub-issue um, in the bottom box. It also has container boxes for the logo here and here. Um, other container boxes might have a person's uh, name um, and their title, like this one here for Greta Van Susteren. It has her name and it has her title. Um, let's close that one up. This one um, has a, another title and subtitle. So you can use these lower third boxes in different ways in your newscast. So how do we go about making these? Let's do that now. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to close this up. Um, and starting from scratch, we want to go to uh, File and New. And we want to set our width up to be 1280 and our height to be 720. And we want our units to be pixels. Um, we want to set our advanced options so that the fill is transparency. And you can leave everything else um, at the default values. So 1280, 720, and fill with transparency. The reason we want to fill with transparency uh, is that we want to be able to see the people in the newscast. And we just um, want to have the graphic be colored in. So we're going to say OK. And that's going to give us a rectangular shape. Um, I'm going to just adjust uh, my view a little bit so you can see everything I do. First tool we're going to use is the rectangle select tool. We're going to come in here and draw a container box like that. And once we have the box going, um, you see um, sort of an electricity sort of feel flowing through the box. That lets you know that you can paint in the box. Um, the next thing you want to do is find your layers. Um, they're probably going to be somewhere up in here in this top section. Uh, it, depending on your load of GIMP, it may be down here in the bottom section. So I'm over and I found my layers. I want to add a layer. I'm going to use the Add Layer button. And I'm going to call this Layer Box 1. I'm going to make sure it's filling with transparency. Say OK. And um, I want to be on box one, and I want to fill with color. Um, and I'm going to use a green color. Say OK. And I want to now just drag and drop my green color into my box. The next thing I want to do is create this bottom white box down here and, and notice how it fades away to transparency. So let's take care of that one. Um, if you've lost your box you can simply click the rectangle select tool again. I have not lost my box. So I'm simply going to hover right here and click and drag my old box down hover on the left edge, go over a little bit, and hover on the right edge, and go over a little bit this way. Now, as I said, if you lost that box, it's not a big deal. Um, you could simply click on Rectangle Select Tool and redraw the box. I want to add another layer now. So I have a box one layer. Now I want to create a box two layer. Fill with transparency, say OK. Um, and I'm going to do a color swap here. 
um, I want to swap into white. And um, I want to choose a gradient right now. Um, I want to choose a foreground to a transparent gradient. Um, you can click on the blend tool to find this. So there's the blend tool showing me going filling with white and going to transparency. And now I simply draw a straight line in the box. And it's going to fill and go away to transparency. Now if I want to make more fill, I can click a second time and it's going to fill it a little bit more each time. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm now going to add a third box layer. So I'm going to go and make another new layer. Um, just by the, just so you know, you can also go to layer and new layer as well. And I'm going to make a box three. Say OK. And in box three, um, I'm going to choose my rectangle select tool. Get that position correctly. Come over this way. And if I overlap a little bit, that's no big deal. Um, and this time I'm going to make a different gradient. I'm going to go back and click in my color palette to change the color. And I want a little bit of a darker green color. Say OK. Put that in. And I want the lighter green color for the outside. So I'm going to choose that for my foreground. So foreground I'm going to have a light green. My background I'm going to have a dark green. Now when I go to the blend tool, I want to change the type of gradient from foreground to transparent to foreground to background. So it's going to go from light green to dark green. Click and drag. And I have a, 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 a gradient going from this light green to the dark green. The last thing I want to do um, is add some text. Now in this area right here, that's where they put the ABC logo. Uh, you may or may not want that um, third box layer over here. Um, we're going to add some text. So I'm going to go to the text tool. And I'm going to pick uh, a basic sans font. I want to change the color, in this case, to be white. So I'm going to click on my color palette for my text tool. Go down to white. Put it in my options. Say OK. Come in and click. And I'm going to put um, a title. learning with GIMP and it's a little bit small. I'm going to make it bigger. Go to 40 and then I'm going to move it. And I'm going to choose move the active layer. Okay, so I have learning with GIMP. Um, and I want to subtitle down here. So I'm going to add some more text. And I want to change my text color to black. Maybe make my font size just a little bit smaller. And move that text into place as well. Okay, so we have a lower third. Um, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Now, if you want to um, dress things up even a little bit more, um, I'm going to show you one more uh, little step. We're going to go back to the Blend tool. And this time we're going to choose um, a Crown Molding Blend. 
right here. Um, I'm going to make sure that I'm on the box one layer. And I want to redraw my gradient on the box one layer like that. And I want to take the crown molding and I want to make it an overlay so it sort of looks like there's a 3D feel in this um, layer. So I'm going to change the mode of blend from normal to overlay. And then when I click and drag, I have this um, nice sort of 3D effect in my green. So um, I can come back here, I can take my opacity down just a little bit. Make that text come out just a little bit more. Pretty simple. Um, some simple steps. Uh, I hope that uh, you have fun with this. Till next time.